The Philippines is all set to choose President Rodrigo Roa Duterte's successor in three weeks from now. The country will cast its votes on May 9th. Ahead of the elections, speculations of candidates who are trailing considering withdrawal and endorsing Robredo have been making the rounds. However, clearing the air in a vitriolic address to media on Sunday, three candidates, Francisco Domagoso, Panfilo Laxon, and former Defense Secretary Norberto Gonzalez, accused leader of opposition Lenny Robredo of trying to get them to withdraw from the elections and strip them of their support. We have the same experience, Mayor Isco and I. Aside from talking us out of the race, they want to strip us down. They're trying to strip us of our supporters and support groups. That happened to me when my reporma was hijacked and the same happened to Major Isco's Ikauna in Cebu. So there were really attempts and they are trying to limit the presidential choices to two. And that's the reason why we have to do this. Domagoso even called for Robredo to make supreme sacrifices by announcing her withdrawal. No, Samin. Ani sabi nila? What they told us is to take the supreme sacrifice, and I think you know it also. Now, if there is a supreme sacrifice, it's the number two who should go and start initiating the supreme sacrifice. Let Vice President Lenny withdraw. That's the supreme sacrifice if you love your country. Let Lenny withdraw. Withdraw Lenny. Meanwhile, Robredo's spokesperson, Barry Guterres, accused the three candidates of theatrics and asserting positions through bluster and falsehood. The list of major candidates include Marcos Jr., namesake and son of late dictator Marcos. He's the frontrunner of Philippines elections as part of the opinion poll. Lenny Robredo, only female candidate and staunch critic of incumbent government, is said to be the second behind Marcos Jr., Manila mayor, Francisco Domagoso, known by his screen name Isco Moreno. The mayor has promised to take on Chinese maritime aggression in South China Sea. Senator Panfilo Laxon, current senator who made an unsuccessful presidential bid in 2004, former Defense Secretary Norberto Gonzalez, and finally retired boxing superstar Manny Pacquiao. Duterte's friend, Tan Fo, has promised to tackle graft. The president's pro-China approach had fetched him many critics. The new president's take on Chinese aggression would pave the way forward. The candidates are making an all-out effort to defeat former Philippines dictator's son, Marcos, who has got a major boost by a formidable alliance with first daughter and vice presidential candidate Sara Duterte. The hotly contested upcoming elections in the Philippines is likely to witness parallel battles, with campaign teams trying to utilize social media platforms to win more supporters or launch attacks on rivals, hoping to make their hashtags trend. It will be a war fought in both virtual and the real world. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.